This video is sponsored by creativesblock.com. For more information and updated pricing for the products, all the links and timestamps will be added to the video description. Best drawing tablets under $300, XP Pen Artist 13 Second Gen. Best overall, the XP Pen Artist 13 Second Gen is a compact drawing tablet that has garnered attention for its impressive features. This the best tablet for drawing under $300. Design and build, the Artist 13 Second Gen boasts a sleek design with a 13.3-inch display. It's compact and lightweight, making it a portable choice for artists on the go. The tablet is constructed with sturdy plastic, ensuring durability. Color options. This tablet offers users the option to choose from four different color variations. Black, green, blue, and pink. These color choices add a touch of personalization. Dot display. The tablet features a fully laminated screen with a matte textured surface and a protective anti-glare film. With a resolution of 1920x1080 pixels, it delivers crisp and clear visuals. The color accuracy is noteworthy, with 30% sRGB, 96% Adobe RGB, and 92% NTSC color gamut. The screen brightness of 220 candelas square meter and a contrast ratio of 1001 ensure a high-quality viewing experience. Stylus The XP Pen Artist 13 Second Gen comes with a battery-free stylus, the Pen X3 Elite, featuring 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. The pen also supports tilt recognition of up to plus or minus 60 degrees, allowing for precise and nuanced drawing. It includes two programmable buttons for added functionality. What's in the box? With the purchase of this tablet, you'll receive the XP Pen Artist 13, second gen, a free X3 Elite stylus, nib remover, 10 free nibs, a drawing glove, a cleaning cloth, a 3-in-1 cable, USB-A extension cable, and a quick start guide. However, note that a stand is not included. Compatibility The Artist 13, second gen, is compatible with both Mac and Android systems, offering a seamless drawing experience on various operating systems. In summary, the XP Pen Artist 13, second gen, is a feature-rich drawing tablet with a compact design, high-resolution display, and an excellent stylus. It's a versatile tool suitable for digital artists and creators. Samsung Galaxy S6 Lite Samsung has been a trusted brand for many years. It is no wonder they start us off on this list. With the Samsung Galaxy S6 Lite, you will get most of the great features in Samsung's more expensive tablets for a fraction of the price. For example, you will still get the great S Pen found in S7 Plus and S8 on the S6 Lite. The AMOLED screen is also available on the S6 Lite. Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite comes with a 10.4-inch screen size of 1200x2000 pixels and a 5-3 aspect ratio. The screen size is one key factor that can influence the choice of an art tablet. Although a bigger tablet is preferable, 10.4 inches is still good and usable. Not to mention it is only a few inches smaller than the more expensive 12.9-inch Apple iPad Pro. The tablet's display is crisp and clear and will show vivid colors, thanks to the AMOLED screen display, which is way better than a traditional LCD display. You will find this type of screen only on more expensive Samsung tablets, so it is a big plus in this price range. Another thing found on this tablet that you can only get on premium Samsung tablets is a great S Pen. The Samsung S Pen borrows a lot from Wacom's Pen 2, which is an art industry standard pen. The pen has 4096 pen pressure levels which are good, but unfortunately is not battery free. The tablet comes with a large storage space where you will store your apps and files. You can get 64 GB space and a larger 128 GB option. The processing speed is determined by the RAM and processor. The tablet scores well in both areas. It comes with Samsung's Exynos 9611 octa-core processor and 4 GB RAM. This means that the tablet will run programs fast and efficiently even when multitasking. Simbins Picasso. The Simbins Picasso tab lands on top of our list courtesy of a nice portable size and effective features. Panel size of 10.24 by 6.81 by 0.39 inches allows you to move around easily and a lightweight of 3.08 pounds makes portability easier and better. The tablet features a large working area and a 10-inch display, making the screen fill up the front side of the tablet. Additionally, the tablet uses an IPS HD display, revealing quality and crisp colors and visuals. One setback you may encounter on the display is a low level of screen resolution. 
going for 1280 by 800 pixels, 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution would have been better, but don't be too alarmed. The displays are quite lovely. When it comes to the drawing experience, the Picasso tab rings and the Picasso Active Pen. The pen uses AAA batteries for power, offering up to 5 hours of drawing after a full charge. Additionally, the pen is comfortable for your hand for long-term use, and when you combine this with a natural stroke production, the experience is better and more authentic. When it comes to processing, the Simbin's Picasso tab is run by the MediaTek quad-core processors that are fast and effective. When you combine this with 4GB RAM, you get a boost in multitasking capabilities for more effective interaction. Lastly, you can enjoy storing files and documents on your tablet using the provided 64GB that is expandable through Micrist. Wacom One Creative, as stated before, the pen in the Wacom family is genetically iconic, and the Wacom One Creative does not fall far from the tree. This attribute wins it one of the best digital art tablet with a screen in this category. The 13.3-inch tablet offers a near A4 size screen display, providing large space for your designs and artwork, at no expense when it comes to mobility. Wacom One's battery-free stylus is very comfortable even in long hours of use, and is compatible with other Wacom pens offering availability if you need one also, as different pens come with different nib sizes, you can enhance your creativity. An extra 5 nibs help you replace worn out nibs, thus offering long-term use. Screen resolution is quite impressive with 1920 by 1080 pixels for a high-definition display and color presentation. The pen pressure sensitivity of 4096 is quite low, though precision and accuracy are quite good on the tablet. When it comes to compatibility, the latest edition of Chromebook enables learning and teaching, while Windows and Mac OS operating systems are a matter of which one serves you best. The positioning of the tablet is 19 degrees elevated by internally connected leg stands, a tried and tested angle for maximum comfortable positions. A Wacom One power adapter connected using the Wacom One X shape cable is used to power the tablet. Additionally, an express key remote with over 17 customizable keys offers an easy way to navigate with the user's settings and design habits. Gammon PD1560 is the largest drawing tablet in this outline. Holding an impressive 15.6 inches size, the working area is made bigger, making it easier to work on your designs. The screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 showcases a stunning display of colors. Furthermore, an 8192 pen pressure sensitivity level is precise on the lines and offers a nice realistic feel. And with a 233 pps response rate, the pen pressure response is fast giving a canvas-like experience. Gammon PD1560's AP40 stylus pen is comfortable with an impressive 350 hours of battery life after a 2.5 full charge period. The tablet is compatible with macOS 10.11 Plus and Windows 7, 8, and 10 plus numerous programs that are connected by an HDMI cable or a USB-C cable. Equipped with 10 shortcut buttons, you save precious designing time, as you can customize the keys to your liking to fit your design habits and workflow. Additionally, the PD1560 has a 20 to 80 degree stand that helps position the tablet at an elevated level for a comfortable working area to boost productivity. Huion is a trusted brand when it comes to art tablets. Huion Canvas is not their best, but based on this price range, it is definitely worth the money. First, it comes with a 13-inch screen size. This size matches the Apple iPad Pro and is perfect for art. The tablet screen also has a good display with a 1920 by 1080 Full HD display. The screen employs its technology that ensures more clear colors and displays, preferably over LCD display type. Unlike the Samsung Galaxy S6 Lite which has only a 5-3 aspect ratio, the 16-9 screen display is a better and more comfortable view. What is a laminated screen and which one is better? A laminated screen features three screen layers fused together to one screen without any spaces in between. A non-laminated screen has airspace in between. Laminated screens are better and more clear than non-laminated ones. This is because the airspace in between interferes with the light movement on non-laminated screens. In Huey and Canvas 13 Pro, the screen is fully laminated meaning that it has a layer covering the screen that will give a clear display and a realistic pen-to-paper feel when drawing. The screen also is created with anti-glare technology, 
meant to regulate the amount of light that gets to your eyes. Huey and Canva's Pro 13 Pen is an art-focused tablet. The pen is quite good. The tablet comes with a battery-free PW507 pen. 8192 pen pressure levels ensure a great feel. While drawing plus the 5080 lines per inch resolution is perfect. Finally, the tablet features four programmable buttons that you can set to your most used functions, speeding up your workflow. When it comes to compatibility, the Huey and Canvas Pro 13 can work with Windows 7 or later, the cost 10.12 or later, and Linux. It is unfortunately not compatible with Android. This video is sponsored by creativesblock.com. For more information and updated pricing for the products, all the links and timestamps will be added to the video description.